Hello, my friends. It is that time again to check out our weekly vibes. What do we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice this week? And this week, I've decided to change it up. I've got some new oracle cards called the Prairie Majestic Oracle. We'll try it out. We'll see what you think. You know, if you get all upset, you could always, you know, put it below saying, we want our angel cards back. Or maybe you'll be happy doing one week angels, one week with the new prairie oracles. Or maybe you'll just be like, I love these prairie oracles. Well, I don't know. We shall see. That is going to be our plan. <laughs> Alrighty. So before I get started into our weekly vibes, as always, I will put a small video here, which will give you some time to think about which number resonates with you. One, two, or three. Go to that number and find out what your week looks like. Across the sky in dream one night, a lone man walked with God, leaving footprints in the sand of time behind them where they trod. Two sets of footprints clearly left behind them in the sand. One set was left behind by God, the other by the man. Then scenes from his past life before the man flashed clear, and at times he only saw one set of footprints there. And he saw this only happened when he was hurt and down. When he needed God beside him, only one set could be found. Lord, he said, you promised if I would follow thee, that I would never walk alone, that you would walk with me. And I have always followed you, now I don't understand. When I needed you most, you were there, just one set of footprints in the sand. My precious child, the Lord replied, what you say now is true. In life, when you had problems that you could not see through, there is just one set of footprints because then I carried you. So for my friends in group one, what do we need to know about love? We've got the nine of pentacles. Guys, this is a good time. Everything is doing well. This is a time to get out make friends, go shopping. You'll find some really amazing sales. This is about, you know, having good times, just having really good connections with those people that are around you, whether it be your family, friends, relatives, or even your coworkers. It's awesome. Just be careful. Little gossip sometimes now and then. So just be careful. Just listen to it. Just don't comment on it. Mm -hmm. When it comes to money, we've got the Ten of Swords. So guys, listen, you're feeling it. You're feeling the overexpending at Christmas. You're feeling that the bills are rising. You're feeling the inflation. You're feeling the stress of taxes. You've just got a lot on your plate. So, you know, review your finances. Knowledge is power. And when you know, you can do better. And when it comes to a job, um, this is not the greatest time to be asking for a raise. It's not the greatest time to be looking for a job. And if anything, this could be the ending of a job, the ending of a career. But it is with the promise and with the knowledge of knowing that there's going to be something greater for you, something better than you could ever imagine for yourself. So don't lose heart if that is for you. When it comes to worry, we got the wheel. Sometimes we worry about what kind of luck do we have? Do you ever feel like you're just like, oh, whoa, it's me. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. I live under Murphy's Law. Or you're somebody that no matter what you do, you just can't help but just everything goes right. Or maybe it's more like you know that person where everything goes right. Everything always happens well for them. So for you, it's like maybe things have been going really well and you're just so scared that things are going to change, that the other shoe is going to fall and you're going to realize that all the things that you have in your life and your world that are worthy of making you happy and joyful will all of a sudden no longer be there. There's this fear of loss, this fear of your luck changing and for you to lose the very things that are the most important things in your life, whether that be your work or your job. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy um, to a a fear of just not being good enough. When it comes to advice, ah, the Empress. You have so much to give, so much love to give, so much compassion to give. And if you have been like looking at trying to get pregnant, 
darlings, 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 within the next nine days, nine weeks, nine months, you're gonna find out you're pregnant. You are meant to be a mother, that's a wonderful thing. And for advice, this would be expand your love. Give your love and your, your, your emotion to people. Let them see you being vulnerable. Let people see you for the beautiful person that you are and to allow for there to be time for you to build up those friendships, to build up that trust that you need. Not bad, hey? Not bad cards at all. So now you are the first official group that get to try out the Prairie Majestic Oracle. So let's think about a question or a situation that's on our mind that we might find an answer or at least some really good advice from our new Oracle, Prairie Majestic Oracle. Let's see. Ready? <sighs> it says, what is ready to go so I can grow, burn, wildfire? Something new is on your horizon. How can you make room for it? As humans, it's normal for us to get attached, whether to habits, routines, things, people, places, beliefs, perspectives, you name it. During certain chapters of our lives, these may serve us by providing support, stimuli, or comfort. Even so, outgrowing attachments is not only natural, but also a necessary part of the cycle. None of us can truly stay still, no matter how hard we may try. When wildfire blazes into your life, challenge yourself to open up and allow the reset. As the smoke clears, what opportunities will be revealed? On the prairie, wildfire is critical to preserve the open grass habitat. Periodic burns prevent the trees and shrubs from taking over and inhabiting the growth of everything else by blocking the sun. Wildfires also speed the breakdown of matter. Dead plants, leaves, and grasses are turned into food for new growth. Moreover, the clearing effect of the wildfire also exposes greater swaths of prairie soil to sunlight and to the warmth needed for seeds to sprout. All this creates fear for the grazing animals, support pollinators, and provides a home for insects and nesting birds. While change can be unsettling, scary, or disorienting, it can also open the way forward. Embracing the new does not ask us to judge or blame the old. Can you view the situation neutrally? Expressing, expressing gratitude for how it has served you in the past may help. Honor what feels right to you for moving through this transition. On the other side are possibilities with your name on them. Allow anticipation to pave the way for your rebirth. So for group two, what do we need to know about love? We've got the nine of wands. There's a feeling here of having to defend yourself. You're almost like, I don't know if it's you just feeling a little bit too much into your feelings or if it's actually like you're feeling like you have to defend yourself. If somebody is talking to you a little bit rough or if you feel like they're just asking a few too many questions, you don't have to answer them. You can just say, you know what, not my story to tell. Or you could just be like, you know what, I don't need to defend myself to anybody. It's that kind of a feeling. When it comes to work, defending yourself may just have to come with the territory. Sometimes you just can't think, I'm not defending myself. It may be that you do have to defend yourself. So if you know there's something coming down the pike, if there's a person that you know that don't particularly like you, make sure you keep all your emails, all your receipts. Do not do things over the phone. Do not trust this person's last word. Make sure you get everything in communications. If this is at work, this could be having to defend your position. So be careful for those who may be wanting your job or who are jealous of you, to be honest with you. When it comes to work and money, we've got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is all about, um, do you expand? Do you move from where you're to to a new space? So for you this week, uh, when it comes to work, this could be a time where you're looking at possibilities, maybe of growth, maybe of changing your environment, changing your job completely up. You could be going saying, hey, I want to go back to school. And this is a time when the possibilities are there for you to change anything that you might want to change. And for some, this could mean when it comes to finances. Oh, and this could also mean like you're actually moving across water, moving to another country. Travel could be part of 
that new um, source that you're going to have. But for others, this is also going to be where you feel like um, you want to expand your money. You want to make sure that your savings are going to be good enough for when your retirement's coming. So there may be a need or a want on your part to kind of like, let's review the money. Let's see how much I'm going to have for retirement. Mm -hmm. How much CPP will I have? when I turn 65 or what, what have you. So that's gonna be important. When it comes to worry, we've got the King of Wands. You're so worried about the things that you do. You're so worried that what you do is not good enough. And it's like, sometimes you don't have the strength. Like, it's like you have the strength to do the project. You have the strength to finish what it is, but you don't have the strength to take it emotionally. Sometimes you just feel like there's not enough gratitude. And it's not that you're trying to get somebody to be all grateful to you, but it's nice to be, you know, say thank you. Thank you for your for your extra effort or support. So there's this feeling of there's so much you want to do, but you feel like you're being halted. You feel like you're being frustrated over it. And when you're doing stuff, you feel like people aren't appreciating it. So there's like this whole big worrisome thing that what you're doing is just not enough and you just don't have the strength to do much more about it. When it comes to advice, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Everything that you have, everything that you need for this to work out, you already have. So this is just calling upon yourself about what you already know to be true and using that as your means of going forward, knowing that you are worthy, that you have what it takes, and that you can make anything, any dream, any any want, desire, or need to come true. So, as now you are the second group to try out the new Majestic Prairie Oracle. It's by Kara Simmons with art from Amy Putney Conan, Conan? So I might have butchered her name, I apologize, but I really love these cards. I got them over the weekend. My husband and I went down to the Russian Tea Room. We had quite a little bit of fun. So uh, let's see. Well, actually I didn't get these from the Russian Tea Room. We, I went into this little store called the Wee Bookstore. And it was like secondhand bookstore type of deal and magazines and cartoons and I said, any chance you might have some tarot cards here? And then he went off in the back and he found these. And he found, do I have them here? I don't, they're, I think they're in my bedroom. I got the Nightmare Before Christmas cards. I couldn't help it though, I had to have them. And I got them for really cheap. And then the guy gave me 10% off on top of it. So it was a good night. <laughs> so take a deep breath, think of, your question, your situation that you'd like to have some advice for, and let's see what the Prairie Oracle has for you. We've got, looks like a butterfly to me, Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. When the sun pops up over the horizon, night becomes day in an instant. In any transition, the tipping point inevitably arrives, bringing momentum that propels the shift. Regardless of how long the process felt, the crossover really does happen. What if we could slow down and pinpoint the exact moment of change? What would it feel like? The eastern tiger swallowtail sails on the nearby grass. You may, also, you may already know the answer to the question. Excitement, nervousness, anticipation, vulnerability, fear, apprehension, hope, and curiosity may all flutter inside. It may feel like you've been through several transitions already, only to wait again. Caterpillars experience a similar process. Once enclosed, hatching may be anywhere from weeks to months away, some over the winter until the spring. Likewise, personal metamorphoses and emergence are up to each individual. It is now the time to burst through into the fresh form of being. This moment is both fragile and fierce. Your wings may be wet. You might be uncertain. Whatever you are feeling is natural and perfect for your own rebirth. Just don't get stuck there. 
Consider the connection between the bright yellow of the swallowtail's wings and your solar plexus, home to personal power. Flip the switch to your own inner generator. Visualize yourself expanding and filling with a golden glow that dries your wings. As you begin to flap, however tentative, can you feel your strength? You're ready, you're on the other side. You've got wings to carry you wherever you choose. So for my peeps in group three, what do we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week when it comes to love? We've got the Page of Swords. Oh, just watch out for some gossip. The Page of Swords is that one where it's like, listen, I got something to tell you. So this could be you, or it could be somebody in your group, your family, your friends, your relatives, even your coworkers, you know, that group that you get together with, the club group. Somebody's going to be telling a few tales outside of school, and you're not going to appreciate it. This You're just not going to appreciate this at all. This could be, you know, somebody in your family getting together for a family gathering, and somebody says something that's just inappropriate or embarrassing to you. It's one of those kind of situations. Just, you know, heads up. When it comes to money, we've got the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling quite bound by your financial situation at this point. It may be that you're seeing that, hey, I'm overspending and I need to cut back. It could be that you're feeling the pressure of having to spend because that's your way of getting relief. When it comes to work, this is not the greatest time to be asking for anything because it seems like, if anything, you might be missing some work due to emotional upheaval in your own life, whether that be situational or actual emotional upheaval in, in a mental sense. When it comes to your worries, you're worried about the Knight of Cups. You're worried about somebody being too good to be true. This doesn't necessarily mean just a love connection. This could be your brother, your sister, your son, your daughter, you want them to be truthful. You want them to be telling you everything that you need to know to be true. And you kind of feel like you're being played. You kind of feel like they're love bombing you into feeling like everything's okay when in actuality it's really not. So it's, it's this worry that you have within you. Are you being told the truth or are you being told a fib? When it comes to advice, we got the judgment card. Boys, oh boys, oh boys. Sometimes with judgment, we judge ourselves so hard. We just don't give ourselves a break and we make life so much more difficult for ourselves. And other times, this could be us judging others. Judging others to feel like they won't be there for us. They're not strong enough to take this on when they are more than willing to be there and they're more than strong enough to take it on. It's all about perspective. But please don't be judging yourself. You are just perfect the way you are. However flawed you may feel you are, we are perfect just the way we are. And you can always improve and change and do the things that you want as long as it's what you want. So, now you're my third group that get to use my Prairie Majestic Oracle. You'll be able to let me know in the comments below what you think about them. And we'll see. What question or situation do you have on your mind that you'd like to have some advice about? And let's see what the Majestic Prairie Majestic Oracle has for you. What can I learn from observation? Notice. This is the crow. The world around us is rich with messages and potential. Crow flies into your awareness today to encourage you to pay more attention. What shiny objects catch your eye? What can you glean from closer inspection of what's happening in your vicinity? Crows are commonly throughout the Midwest and forage grasslands for food. These chatty birds have a distinctive caw that makes them easily identifiable, even when we can't see them. Crows are well known for their intellect, cleverness, and communication skills. As scavengers, they provide waste management services. Their penetrating power of observation helps them adapt and solve problems. 
in part because they have the ability to remember and apply what they've learned. Being curious serves them well. Whatever is on your mind today, there's a good chance possible solutions and insights are close by waiting for you to notice them. Expand your view through minimizing distractions, practicing curiosity, and being present in each moment. What does this reveal? How can you apply it? Sometimes, noticing is a matter of willingness to see what's right in front of us, even if we'd rather not. If this resonates, explore why. What have you kept hidden, either from others or from yourself? Bringing it into light for reflection may hold a clue for moving forward. Ask Crow to help you to understand and adapt. So my friends, that is our weekly Vodge reading for this week. As always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, take care, cheerio, God bless. And please feel free to let me know what you think about the new Oracle cards. Do you want me to do um, some angels, some oracles, a little combo of both, one week, one week on, one week off. Just let me know in the, in the comments what you think or just send a hi, a hello, give me a like. It all helps the channel. So until the next time we chat, take care, cheerio, and God bless. <laughs>